guys welcome back to Raj Innovation so today uh, we are making a maze game in scratch so uh, as you can see I have a, a maze image uh, what I have done is I have taken this from the Google because it would take uh, so much time to draw in scratch and uh, one thing I have done is I have just erased these middle parts of this uh, maze uh, means these parts because if these parts will be left means white part we can't play the game so i have uh, all erased uh, i can show you yes you can see from eraser i have erased all of these parts if you need uh, this uh, means this uh, maze image i will put the a link in the description below you can check from that also and uh, now uh, and you have uh, remember that you have to uh, erase the middle parts also because uh, that is necessary you can see in the border part this border part i have not erased these parts these parts are not erased because uh, we don't need to erase those parts that's why i have not erased now you can see this is made uh, now uh, i'll go to the cost custom of this and um, i'll just close this part because one player can cheat by going from here and he can go at the end so i'll take um, this uh, stick and i'll put a line like this yeah this is closed now now yeah and now uh, now I'm going uh, over here. I need a sprite to run that. Um, I am thinking that I'll take um, this dragonfly. This dragonfly. Yeah, this is correct. And in this maze, I must make this a little bigger, like 120. No, 130. Yeah, it is perfect. Now, uh, this dragonfly, I will make uh, the size of the dragonfly to, um, this will be 20. Now, this is a little big. So, 15. Mm, let me check it as the size of the image. No, uh, let me make it 10. 10 will be great. Yeah, 10 is perfect. Now um, I need a goal uh, for which the dragonfly will grow, go. So I'll take the goal as a crystal, this, and I'll put it at the end. I'll just resize it to 90. Yeah. This is correct. I'll put it over here. I need, uh, the, then I need a background for that. So I can take uh, um, a raise. This is a good background. You can also see that. This will make uh, the player little confused where to go. Means uh, because of these lines, he'll little bit uh, con confused. So it will make the game little difficult. Now in the this crystal. I'll just go to events, one uh, one flag clicked, and I'll bring uh, bring this go to x x and y, and I'll put it over here. Yeah, now because uh, I have to just check the uh, place where it is over here. Yeah, wait. Let me put it this again because I've changed the place. So this, yeah, this is perfect. Now uh, I'll just do the same in this also. Events and from the motion I'll bring go to X and Y. This will be where the players uh, is now. So for that uh, I'll just do in this also. Yeah, in events. Yeah. Now it is correct. Okay, guys. Now uh, let's go to the our sprite uh, means the player. And now we'll bring a um, forever loop from the e event, no, control. And then we need a if then condition. And uh, when key pressed from the sensing. And we'll change uh, this to, uh, we'll change this to mm, mm, D. Yeah, this will be D. Now we need a own block. We'll make a new block. 
naming it move x steps move x steps yeah and now i will use a parameter and will name this to um steps okay yeah now i'll put it over here yeah now i'll bring a move x steps from this gallery and i'll put it over here and i'll uh, make it as four four yeah four and now uh, i'll just duplicate this uh, if then condition and uh, now i'll just uh, do it to a this will be a yeah now move x steps will be negative four negative four now we'll make um, a same block like a uh, move y steps um steps yeah move y steps add a parameter and write steps okay um this is done and now uh, we'll just duplicate this option and we'll put it over here we'll just take out these two things and now we'll make this to w where is the w w yeah and then this will be the s where is the s yeah over here now move y steps move uh, y steps duplicate yeah this will be four and this will be negative four enter yeah this is correct and uh, now let's bring this one over here yeah now i will from the motion will bring change x by and we'll put it over here bring the steps from this and we'll put it here and from the control if then condition um and from the sensing touching maze touching maze um, then i'll bring another touching from the even uh, motion touching x by this will be the uh, we need a minus operator from this and now uh, we'll bring a uh, steps if a uh, zero minus steps yeah this will be like this and now our uh, same thing we'll do uh, for this y also that was for x and now uh, we'll do for y no not this change y by and uh, now after doing this uh, we'll bring these steps if then condition then from the sensing touching touching maze then uh, change y by change y by um zero minus steps yeah like this now let's test our movement yeah it is moving correctly now we can go like this to the end yeah yeah like this we can go from this oh sorry uh, one mistake that i've done is i have not erased this part of the um this um, one part i have not erased this this i have not erased i forgot so it is not going up so i need to erase this also yeah like this now it must go yeah it is going and uh, how to go i don't know also 
here let me check yeah from here we can go but nothing is happening when i'm touching this crystal so we need to add some uh, steps for that yeah yeah and now when i'm touching the crystal i'm not getting any um output because i don't have any of the um, these scripts so now i'm going to make a new uh, a script from which it will be nice and now let's go to the events bring up uh, when flat clicked a uh, forever loop and uh, if then condition and now uh, we need from the sensing touching uh, crystal touching crystal then we need a broadcast broadcast from this event broadcast yeah and now let's uh, say it as you win you win and uh, now let's go to the sounds and let's go and uh, bring a magic spell a magic spell yes yes this is correct but uh, this has a very uh, powerful sound so uh, let's make it a little slow no yeah this is nice what is this no yeah magic spell we need yeah code then let's go to sounds and bring um this will be star sound magic spell over here but um we need a uh, means wait one second because if it will go to the end it will just um if we'll uh, not put a sound uh, means wait block it will uh, just uh, sound very little much and it will stop because we are going to add a stop or stop or uh, this will be here and here now let's try this uh, i can go from here i can just drag it because i don't want to now go why it is yeah yeah you can see over here it is uh, sounding and uh, just stopping now let's uh, make a new sprite that uh, which is saying you win from the this we'll make it green okay green and now from text we'll just type over here you uh, win um and yeah and uh, we'll bring it to the center let's make it little bigger and bring it to the center yeah now let's code the we can adjust it as our wish yeah over here and we are gonna make uh just add the same loop that uh, we have added in every sprite that go to x and y here okay guys now uh we have to add a hide in this because uh it would be hide and uh, just not showing at first because we don't need that it will be showing from first and uh, when we will win uh, that time it will show we need that so in this we have put this um uh, this effect now uh, we'll go to the this uh, events and uh, we'll just bring when i receive you win and then we'll play it as show yeah 
This is nice. Okay, it was correct. Sprite one. Yeah. Now let me name it as you win only because it is of you win. Okay. Now uh, these all have done. Uh, now uh, for making this uh, more interesting, I'll add a sound means song in this when it will be playing. Okay, guys. Now uh, uh, we are go uh, going to add a sound background sound in it, and we I am going to do this in the cl crystal. Go to sounds and we'll go to the loops loops and this yeah this is correct yeah i have made it as uh, softer because that was sounding very loudly and uh, now uh, we need a when green track click and a forever loop from the control and uh, let's go to the sound and play classical piano until then so let's test it yeah it is going good yeah we can do this can add any other sound also but I like this so I have added because in this type of games this sounds good so I can go at the end yeah yeah as you can see this is working nice okay guys if you like my video Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And this much for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.